I would like to repeat again my deep gratitude to the people of my state of Orissa for blessing me time and time again, showering me with their blessings and permitting me to serve them. Also, I think that we have always tried to do an excellent job and we have much to be proud of in our government and our party. So if, if I can ask you, I mean, any, uh, if you, under, you can underline any reason of this debacle? That is in the people's hands. In a democracy, you know, you have to, you either win or you lose. So, having been defeated after a long time, we must always take the verdict of the people gracefully. I've always said that the four and a half crore people of Orissa are my family, and I will continue to serve them in whichever way I can. It has also come to my notice there's been some uh, criticism of Mr. Pandian. This is unfortunate. As an officer, he did excellent work in many fields in the last 10 years, helping with the cyclone, the two cyclones, and with the COVID-19 epidemic in our state. After this good work, he retired from the bureaucracy and joined my party and has contributed largely to that by doing excellent work. He is a person of integrity and honesty and should be remembered for all that. There have been some questions on my health. I want to say here quite categorically that my health has always been fine and continues to be so. You have seen that in the last month I have done hectic campaigning in the heat and that should be enough to give a verdict on my health. Again, I thank all of you for your attention. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to add that Mr. Pandian has also worked in and helped in health, in education, in sports, and our program of temple restoration. Mr. Pandian joined the party, has not held any post, as you know, he didn't fight in the elections from any constituency. And uh, I've always clearly said that when they asked me about my successor, I've said clearly that it is not Mr. Pandian. And I repeat it again, that the people of Odisha will decide my successor.